you doing? I'm cleaning my sensor. Getting it ready for the, the big shot. The big shot. Yeah, What's these the clouds shot? clear. Oh, you think these clouds are gonna clear? Yeah, I hope so. Here's one thing I love about yeah. Lindsay. So we go on and we check the weather. We're in Grand Teton National Park. It's a beautiful place to be. We were excited about getting here and then we checked the weather and we're like, crap, we gotta go right away. So we have like four hours, maybe we woke up at 6.30, try to get out here, we gotta be on the road maybe by noonish at the latest. So we got a couple hours and um, looking at the weather and it says rain, 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 rain. And then there's this little cloud with the sun thing next to it, which is mostly cloudy. And Lindsay goes, ooh, look, there's gonna be sun. <laughs> It could have been a full cloud and no sun. You're such an optimist. Yes. That's, that's why I love that's you. A good thing. I'm Eeyore. I see clouds and I'm like, oh, it's going to rain. She sees a little bit of sun and she says, yes, I can get my picture. So we're at Mormon Row right now. Tell us about Mormon Row. It's you. Mormon Row. There's only one other person here. It's got some really cool old barns with great views. It's an old Mormon settlement. Of the Tetons. <laughs> right? Yes. That's why it's called Mormon Row. Mm -hmm. Old Mormon settlement. And they kept it intact. It was working up until some years ago or something like that. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Oh. Uh, but. I'll just make stuff up. <laughs> there's like a ton of people out there, so I need to get set up. Okay. They're being optimistic too. Yeah. But here, here are the clouds. <laughs> you, be the, you be the judge. You see the Tetons? I don't see the Tetons. But last time we were here, the clouds did lift, to Lindsay's credit. And she got an amazing photograph. But apparently it wasn't all that amazing, so we're back again. It is, but I want to improve my photography. She wants to improve her photography. My goodness, you don't understand. I don't understand. <sighs> here we are, parked at Mormon Room. I'm gonna go meet Lindsay. So I see we got her partly sunny. But we still have some clouds. So our time in the Tetons is gonna be abbreviated. There's a big nasty storm coming in and you can't tell right now because it's sunny out. But um, we're gonna go drive around and look for some animals. Yep. Right? And maybe see some fall colors. So we'll take you on that drive with us and show you all that stuff. And then we're gonna get out in a couple hours. So what happens when there's an animal sighted in Disney World, I mean Teton. So while we have a little sunlight, we're going to come down to String Lake. Uh, Jenny Lake, String Lake, and Lay Lake are three lakes that are right at the base of the Tetons. And while the mountains are covered up, the lakes are still beautiful. There's a great hike at Jenny Lake. It takes you to Hidden Falls. It's about a four mile hike out each way, or you can take the boat and it'll drop you off and then you just have a short hike to go up to the falls. Or you could hike out, take the boat back or vice versa. Um, and it's our favorite hike. We're unfortunately not gonna get to do it this time uh, with the weather moving in, but you go right along the edge of the mountain. End up with spectacular views.
got there. We got a white pizza, chicken, and artichoke. We usually only eat pizza when we're com um, commiserating. Well, we had a long drive today. It was a long drive. And we were in Colorado. Back in Colorado. Town Left called, Wyoming. It's hit and miss pizza. But here are pizza. Good enough. Good enough. Right. Yeah. I've only been, me personally, I've been here for the last like two months. Um, the building and the restaurant itself has been around for about 10 years. 